my sense is that it will develop further something that's been going on in me the past few years very strongly and that is a, a deepening sense of soul connection. And when you say that social distancing is the antithesis of my work, well, yes, when you say it like that, it is, because my work is so much about connection and intimacy. And yet, at the same time, the first intimacy that everybody learns, you'll remember, in being in any workshop with me, whether it's about sex or death or relating or whatever, the first intimacy that you discover is your intimacy with your own being. And this is why I gave you this breathing practice at the beginning of the meeting. And being intimate with your own being. The social distancing, if you look at it from another perspective, it gives you the opportunity to say hello to being alone. And as I say, this connection that, that I have with soul and everything to do with soul it has just been deepening over the years now. Perhaps it's got to do with being 76 years old so that, you know, I find myself having a, a stronger and stronger sense of the infinite, the eternal, the mystery, as I call it. And at the same time, it's not antithetical to the work I do, which will always be about both this intimate connection with one's own being and from that, because of that, being able to have truly intimate sharing and connecting and openness and transparency in being with other people because it is in that harmony with one's own being, the celebration of your connection with, with all that you are, that you're able to share with other people without any sense of needing other people or having to save yourself from your aloneness because you love your aloneness, you love your solitude and from that in being with other people as I am with you all now it is just delightful to be able to share yourself with others. You know when I feel best about my work is when the people in the meeting, in the gathering, in the group can feel free to express whatever is going on in them, just as you did now. And it's not about feeling good. It's not about feeling bad either. What really moves me, inspires me, and keeps me creating these experiences is the the magic that happens among us as we discover that there isn't some way we are supposed to be some way we are supposed to relate other than to just allow ourselves to I, I, I like to say allow ourselves to happen it's like the birds singing in that garden or wherever it is you know birds don't they don't try to sing. They don't try to get the song right. <laughs> they just sing their song. And for me, the most magical is when we're in the circle and we're just singing our songs. Whether it's with tears or anger or fear to say something that I'm afraid to say because I find the courage to express what I know I should be expressing is so rich for the listeners. And what we're doing in all the things we're saying here is giving each other a little more permission and a little more permission and a little more permission to express ourselves with each other. And in the end, it isn't about expressing ourselves to each other. That is just the conduit through which we own who we are and get to celebrate who we are and to validate to ourselves who we are. So it does all come back to this celebrating the gift of your own being through daring to sing your songs to each other and with each other and for each other in response to each other.
This podcast is of Alan Lowen talking in one of his Art of Being workshops. You will find full information about the Art of Being at artofbeing.com. Thank you.